Today is Veterans Day, a time to honor those who have served our country. Local veterans are being celebrated in a number of ways today, like this City of Houston ceremony. A retired Marine Corps platoon commander was the keynote speaker outside City Hall this morning. People there also paused for a 21-gun salute and a moment of silence honoring the signing of the World War I armistice. Houston also hosted a traveling memorial for the thousands of troops killed since 9-11. Those somber moments put the day into perspective. At the root of Veterans Day is the sacrifice service members and their families have made. Melissa Correa is live with a look at how Houston's East End is honoring a World War II hero. Mel. Hey there, Reka. Yeah, this mural of Staff Sergeant Macario Garcia just unveiled. People driving through this section of the East End now have a face to go with this street. Uh, the World War II hero was the first Mexican immigrant to receive the Medal of Honor. It is the U.S.'s highest military decoration. Garcia and his family immigrated from Mexico to Sugarland before he enlisted in the Army. And during World War II, he helped to save his platoon after landing on Normandy. This mural in a predominantly Latino neighborhood will help to keep Garcia's memory alive and parades like one earlier today give the rest of us a chance to connect with veterans still with us. Front, center, and at attention, the Hall family couldn't miss Houston's Veterans Day Parade. It means everything. It's a family tradition. The parade and the act of service. Christina is a fifth generation hall to enlist in the military, like father, like daughter. I, I couldn't. I mean, I'm really extremely proud of her. Pride is why the Army veterans wear their uniforms today. Like, I want them to see me and know that just because you're a female, you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. From the festivities to the fanfare. I'm grateful for people who choose to do that. Tiffany George and her daughter are among the families supporting veterans, young and old. It's, it's something that I'd like to pass down to my, my grandkids to be of service. Vietnam veteran David Sosa hopes celebrations like this give context to the holiday. Freedom is not free. Somebody has to pay the ultimate price and uh, thank God I'm still here. I don't know why, but I'm still here and I'm trying to make the best of it. The sacrifices and the struggle come with serving this great nation. Support and gratitude should too. So today, be sure to say thank you for your service. Of course, I always come back with the thank you for your support and continue supporting the military because from this family to yours, a little recognition sure does go a long way. It definitely means a lot. Like there's a lot of people who don't get to even see this. There's a lot of people don't get to be here. And you can't help but think of Staff Sergeant Garcia. I will tell you with this mural unveiling this afternoon, Reka, there's now a plaque commemorating his service, honoring his heroism. But the main hope and the goal here in the East End is that folks stopped here along his boulevard will research his story and learn more about him. As I toss things back to you, people dedicating this mural today couldn't help but notice there's an elementary school just around the corner. Very sweet, and we are so thankful to all of our veterans. Thank you so much, Melissa.